Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Bibi and I have two miniature American Shepherds named Maui and Koa and on this channel we talk all things dog and mini Aussie so if you like that then please subscribe to our channel and let's get into the video. In this video I wanted to show you guys how I made this stand for my peanut ball for balancing with the dogs. I do want to mention um, the size of the peanut ball that I used but it's quite easy to make it into a bigger version of this. So the peanut ball I used is not actually one for dogs, it's one for children which I found for about 12 euros at Decathlon which I will link it down below. So if you live in the Netherlands, you can find the peanut ball as well. But it's it's around 90 centimeters width, and then it's around 45 centimeters in height. I think it's one of the smaller sizes, roughly of like a fit bone, uh, the peanut ball. Um, I believe they have a 40 centimeter one and a 50 centimeter one, so it's in between that but it works for a bit of smaller peanut balls. I will show you everything uh, you need for this and also how I made it and of course the end result. Uh, I'm really happy with it. It's my first like real DIY project, but it's really sturdy and it works for the dog. So I'm happy with that. So yeah, if you want to learn how to make this, then please keep on watching. So first we needed to go to the store to get everything we needed for the stand. So I just went to my local building store to get all the things we needed. Um, unfortunately, they only have the large PVC pipes and they did not have, you know, smaller sizes. So I needed to saw everything uh, myself in the sizes that I needed. Uh, luckily, they had a saw outside, so I could just do it there um, and then bring all the pieces home. So I could just put it together at home. Uh, and not do any sawing there. So we have eight five inch, um, 12 centimeter PVC pipes and around 30, 32 centimeter di diameter. Then we have four closures. We have two 35 centimeter one, which is around 14 inches. We have four of these, which are the uh, 90 degrees elbows. Then we have two of the 25 centimeters, which is uh, it's the 10 inches. Th those are those two. And then we have four T's and then we have glue. Okay, so first I'm gonna test it out without glue. And if it works, then I will glue it together for the peanut ball. So the first thing you're going to do is put the end caps on for the 5 inch 12 centimeter PVC pipes. If you have a bit of a larger than 5 inches PVC pipe, uh, use it for this. Um, I did as well. Then we're going to put the 90 degree elbows on the largest piece of PVC pipe, which is the two 35 centimeter 14 inch um, pipes. And then after that, we're gonna put the four remaining five inch, 12 centimeter ones um, on the other end of the elbows, as you can see. Then we're gonna start with the T's. So on the top end, you will put the five inch, 12 centimeter ones with the end caps. And then we're gonna pick two of each and put the remaining PVC pipe, which is the 25 centimeter 10 inch one in between the two T's, as you can see here. And those are the sides of the stand. And now you're gonna put those pieces together with the other pieces. So in the, um, in the elbows. It is a little bit difficult because I didn't glue it together yet, so it's 
um, not that sturdy, but I just wanted to check um, that everything is in the right position and I got the right measurements. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm just checking everything. Okay, now we need to glue that down so it works. So here I'm gonna be gluing everything together. I did lose some footage, but I um, glued everything together. So the top, the closures on the PVC pipes, you know, the elbows with the other pieces. Um, everything is glued, so it's really sturdy. Um, this is what I'm doing. I'm using PVC glue. Um, it is really, really hard, quite fast. So. Um, just make sure everything is in the correct position. So that has been glued and then I'm going to do the other side because this is the most important step um, for it to be in the right position. I'm just making sure here that they are both in the same direction so that they are straight both of them um, yeah like this so I put it together and put the ball in it just to see um, how straight or a little bit to the inside I wanted the PVC pipes to go um, this is the state that I would like it to be when it is finished so now I'm just going to glue those pieces together and we'll do it side by side um, so that so that I have it in the correct position. So as you can see, I'm first doing this side. And then we're going to move on to the other side. Um, my mom came over for a bit, so she um, helped me. But it's also really possible to do it on your own. I also want to mention that it's very important that you try to do everything um, like straight. Because you can see mine is a little bit curvy. It still works, but... Um, if you want to have it straighter, just make sure that when you glue it down, that it's really straight. Okay, so this is the end result. So as you can see, this is the shape um, for the ball. And it has the exact same shape on this side. And the ball is really sturdy in there. I'm really happy with the result and if you made this stand then please uh, send it to our Instagram at Koesohana because I would love to see your creations and if you found this video helpful then please like. I will also be trying to make one for the yoga ball there so I will make a video about for that as well and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of us and I hope to see you in the next video guys. Bye!